The Afghan poppies that end up as heroin on British streets, the UN says production has trebled. Three times as much opium was produced in the Afghan province of Helmand last year as when British troops were there in 2006. That's according to the United Nations. A report by the UN says this year's crop will be even higher. Opium is the raw material for heroin and most of the illegal drugs for sale on Britain streets comes from Afghanistan. David Loyne reports now from the capital, Kabul. By mid-afternoon every day, Fazl and an estimated one million of his fellow Afghans are lost to the world. Smoking raw opium in squalid streets like this one, alongside an open sewer in the war-ravaged streets of Kabul. Afghan opium refined into heroin destroys lives in Britain too. <laughs> that was one of the reasons Tony Blair said that Britain went to war in Afghanistan in the first place and sent troops south to Helmand in 2006. But British troops seen here patrolling with Afghans by fields of opium poppies at harvest time last year have failed to stop the crop. In forecasting an increase in production this year, the UN blames corruption and insecurity, but also failure to help farmers grow other crops. Building an alternative to Hellman's drug economy is... As I reported on the BBC last month, alternative crops like cotton have failed to find a market, and as unsold cotton piles up uselessly, farmers I met had all planted opium poppies again this year. Hamidullah said the price of cotton is so low they have to sell it at a loss. And the drug trade has put down deep roots in Afghanistan. We did not uh, provide them the, the, the meaningful alternative livelihood or the, the, the meaningful uh, substitute crops. There is no determination on the Afghan government side as well as on the international community side. As international troops prepare to wind down combat operations in Afghanistan, they leave behind a bigger opium problem than when they started. A country of a million addicts, still supplier of most of the world's illegal heroin. David Loyne, BBC News, Kabul.